Yeah, Paul, uh, Paul disappointed, must be pleased with that there. Yeah, service. pleased, yeah. Um, you know, we defended for long periods in that first half and, you know, dug in and uh, you know, we spoke about it before the game, but last time we played at Cougar Park, we were uh, a bit of an embarrassment to ourselves and, uh, you know, we let the fans down and you know, we wanted to change that. And, you know, the massive efforts from everybody today, and you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the Cougar fans will go away proud of the team, uh, not like they did last week. Yeah. Considering as well how many players you went out, you, you must have been you, that must have even been better for you because your players have come in today and stepped in and shown they can do a job for you. Yeah, you know, it was always this plan to uh, to change from people today, and you know, like we did on Wednesday as well, you know, to keep yeah, everybody well, fresh. Sure. It's been a, uh, a massive week for us, and you know, it's we've still got the Halifax on Thursday, so. You know, other people will go out, out today, you know, they'll be ready to come in against Halifax and, uh, and hopefully give them a good, good account of themselves. Do you think you could have perhaps even like taken a, a draw with there at times there? Because you know, a couple of tries, a, a try chalked off and then you know, a couple of controversial decisions as well against you, weren't they? Yeah, they were. You know, they were late an elbow in that first half and uh, second half and uh, you know, I believe he should have walked and you know, I think the referee copped out. You know, he took the easy option and you know, that's probably what he did most at the game today. Um, you know, I'm not happy with his performance, and you know, I'm certainly not happy with uh, how certain people uh, from the sideline influence what he does in the middle. Yeah, Jess Sharif came in though today, didn't he? He scored that try, that, that vital try for the end there, didn't he? He's been fighting every every week for the place, and you know, he got his uh, opportunity coming, and you know, we got a bonus point, didn't he? You know, he finished it well, so. You know, it's up to him to keep working hard. He does the training, and he's certainly done that today. Yeah, he must have fought you over though when you got um, you got him in there at the end. You know, so that that, that was a massive bonus there. Yeah. You know, that was just you know next person to get penalised, but no, no more uh, holding down than that rook. Uh, you know, like I said, inconsistent today. Featherstone, uh, you know, the top side, and you know we're proud we got a bonus point today. So you know they got what they wanted. You know, and we certainly fought for what we got. So you're happy where you are now at the end of the season? Perhaps you know we've got you going in the last two games. We're happy if we were where Featherstone was that, but uh, you know we, 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 safe we're, though. Are you affected? Yeah, results problem. have gone uh, wrong the other way today, so you know we still need to pick a couple of points up. Uh, but we've got a massive one against Halifax, and uh, it's a local derby, and everybody always lives for that. So you know we'll, we'll be ready and uh, you know give a good account of ourselves, and hopefully that will be. Uh, good. Just to see Paul Hanford as well, the new signing at Halifax going up against him on Thursday. Yeah, you know, I uh, spoke to Paul and you know he's excited, you know, he's looking for a change. Um, and we didn't want it to come out before uh, you know before we actually play Halifax, uh, but you know the rugby papers have already got it. Uh, they spoke to me on Friday uh, saying that obviously you know but it was gonna be announced at Hanford full evening and uh, Halifax, so you know, there's a merry go round. We uh, we half backs, and obviously, we've lost Scotty, haven't we? So, to battle it, so it's uh, you know, people always change at this time of year. You know, should it be secret or should it not? You know, professional good players will just get on with the jobs for the clubs uh, we'll be playing for now, and uh, I look forward to having Paul here next year. Yeah, it brings something different as well to Scott, doesn't it? You've lost a good player in Scott, but. He brings that experience to the pod. He does, you know, we, we had a couple of experience half backs up at work quite even and you know his game management ability and uh, you know, Scott's got a lot to learn. He, he has got something different, he's got a great kicking game and you know, he's got a great pass on him as well uh, out of the back. So you know we'll miss him but like I said, bringing in someone like Paul you know, the experience will be great for the club. Yeah, what sort of test of Halifax then on Thursday night? You, you know, it's, it's local diary like you say, so players are good for that, won't they? Yeah, they're uh, a roller coaster for us. And, you know, Carl probably said that they've had a bit of a roller coaster over the last few weeks up and down performances. So, you know, we'll be ready. You know, we want to take it to work like we have done to every team this year. And, you know, it's his last game at home. Uh, and, like I said, we got to embarrass ourselves like we did against Batley. You know, we took some massive steps again today. Well, not just today, but this week. We uh, you know, three games in seven days, so we'll take another step on the field. Yeah, so you can catch them cold as well. I think I've lost today. Oh, they've lost again today. Yeah. Well, you know, they'll be looking to get back on the off level, so you know, it, it, we'll just prepare like we always prepared, and uh, we'll come out give a good count of self, and if that's good enough to uh, get three points, we'll take three points. If not, we'll get what we deserve. Cheers, Paul. Thanks for joining us.